What's going on YouTube? This is Serija Gaming as you already know. I'm here bringing you a new video which I have never done before which is a top 10 and we'll start off with the top 10 tilts. So first off at number 10 we got Sarada Yichiha or Yichiha Sarada and her tilt is worthy of being in the top 10. The reason why is because it does a lot of things but you think wow that's actually really crazy and let me explain here. So um what it can do is look, if you look at the stun, um, the stun time, it leaves them to block. It puts them in a crazy stun time. And now I want you to switch, which allows you to switch and do crazy stuff with it. You can do after loads of things, you can do setups with it so but make people not move, like kind of trap them in the location. Like let's say you, you have no sub, you don't want them to attack you. Because you, your tilt usually, um, it, uh, what do you call it, when they dash into it, it stops them and do whatever they do. So let's say um, you're in a corner and you have no subs. You're in a, um, when you do a tilt, you're jumping with the tilt, so they'll dash it to you in the air, but they'll completely miss unless they're very close to you. But where, wherever they land, they'll be right in the way your tilt is, and you can do crazy stuff with it. For example, you can do jutsu after, you can change and um, do another jutsu. You can do combos after if you do normal run up. Uh, you can do fun. I think here I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with it. Um, it's also good when they're blocking, so it just puts, it's a big string to make them block. And you can have the crazy potential over there. If you sort, I think it's best when you switch character with it. But well, this is top 10 for a reason, so there you go. And what you can do with it, you can, uh, what is it again? You can do ultimate with it. So here, look, here for example, you can do right ultimate right after it. Moving on to number 9 is Ren. Surprising or not, people might think this might be higher or lower, I'm not quite sure. This is my biased opinion, and this is her tilt. Her tilt was crazy. Basically, when they dash towards you or when they're anywhere near you, you put this down, and the boom, they're in the air. Crazy. And you can do one thing with this. Basically, when they're guarding, no, when you're guarding and they're attacking you, you can use your tilt. And here's an example of me showing it here. So look, she's attacking me, and boom. Even I take the hit, they take more, more damage than I did because it's just crazy. So that is Rin's one. Number eight we have is Sage Mode, Sage, oh, Sage of Six Paths, Obito. And this one's crazy, it's, it's, I'm, you can be surprised this is in my top, um, top 10, the reason why this is number 8, because this is the godlike spamming tilt. It is so, oh, I'm, I don't even know how to say it, it's just crazy basically. When it's, basically it's active projectiles, so if they sub, they sub in the air. And you know what that means, they're stuck in the end. Look, here's an example of what happened when they sub. So look, the tilt follows them up, and they can't do much with it, so it goes up and down, it's just, it's just a crazy tilt. So moving on next to, is Kakashi, and Kakashi tilt is crazy, what it can do, it can stop anything, and it can put them in stun time as well, so it stops Jutsu's everything, so here's an example of it stopping Jutsu's, it stops any single projectile, which is crazy. Moving on to, now, is Rinnegan Sasuke, or Rinesh Sasuke, which basically, uh, he has a that's crazy range, he's even crazy stun. It's just ridiculous how much stun time um, you give. You get out of it. So you can do jutsu right after. If you do it from very far, you can probably do all my jutsu out of it. I haven't tested it out yet, and I should have tested it out. Uh, what else you can do? You can do um, combos with it. So you can do um, you can do it while they're in mid air as well. If you do, if you do it if right in front of them, you can get combo out of it, which is really cool as well. And here's a here's a combo with it. So here here here's showing them where it works. So if you do it there, you can kind of do it after that and also you, you can do it while you're blocking as well just like Rin's one so when they're attacking you can do it when they're blocking when you're blocking and you can interrupt them and carry on with a combo if you like so here's a final example boom easy peasy next up we have is rage mode orbital or rampage orbital this is crazy the reason why this is crazy is because it has you're invincible for a very, very long time, and look how far he goes. He goes far, and you can catch it anytime you want. So they can't do nothing to do. No ultimate can stop you. Nothing stops you. You go through literally anything, even the touches, but anything you go through, which is crazy because basically you just the water obi one would be in the top ten list, but this one is just like a moving water obi one. And what makes it even more crazy is that you can apply pressure with it, throw shuriken and do it again and again and again and keep looping over and over again to break the guard. You can have a sister with you, it's even more crazy you have a sister with you, you can dodge anything and it's just crazy. And what I really love about this one is when you're blocking, you can stop anything when you're blocking, just like the other one I showed you. But this one is, you get combo potential out of it straight away. So here is an example of me doing it when I'm blocking and I'm getting attacked. So here's Sakura hitting me. And you'll see me come her straight after. Look how quick he goes. So you have to let go of block and quickly tilt. Oh, that's the mistake one. Could do it again. 
look at that, boom, quick and easy. Very easy to do that, and it just gives you a lot of damage, makes them so quick while you're blocking, so you don't have to take any damage. So, next up, we have is Minato, which is number four. And the reason why this is number four is because it is absolutely crazy. Every, I think people can agree with me, but maybe this might be higher, maybe it might be lower, but then again, this is biased. Um, this is crazy because of what you can do with it, you can do infinites with it, you can do so much things with it, it stops so many things, even though it's a kunai, usually the dash root kunai, this kunai is because it's Minato's one, it stops your dashes, stops so many things. It doesn't stop jutsus, which I'm afraid it doesn't, but it has so much potential to do. And also you can do it um, during when you're blocking as well, so for example, get a combat out of it, much easier than Rampage Orbiter's one because they take damage from the kunai and get extra damage as well. So next up is Madara, Sage of Plus Madara. This one is absolutely crazy. The reason why this is crazy is because he teleports towards you anytime he wants. And if you swap out and press circle right at the right time, look what he's doing. He's doing her own combo in his own time, which is ridiculous. He's just crazy. Just a crazy character in my opinion. So this tilt definitely deserves number three. I'm sorry Minato, but this tilt is a lot more crazier. If you tilt out, then tag out, you can make him call in. Look, he tele teleports straight away because the balls are still moving around. Even when he's tagged out, so he can teleport anytime he wants. And he even do ultimate right, so teleport ultimate as well. So if you um, load, your load your ultimate chakra, teleport ultimate straight. Look at that. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But that is why he received number three. So next up is our next two characters. I'm wondering who it could be. It's only kind of obvious which two characters will be there, but which one I'm going to put in order. I'm afraid the second place goes to Itachi. So you already know who first place is, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. Tachi's one is crazy, it goes through everything as well. Tachi's one, um, basically you're invincible and if they try to dash at you on like Rampage Orbit 2, you take damage. Look how much damage this does. This does more than a grab. It does more than a grab. It does more than some jutsus actually, which is actually crazy. Um, this is actually ridiculous. I think no, actually, some jutsus, yeah, there are jutsus that don't do any damage, but this one just, it's ridiculous. You go through everything, you can combo right after if you get the right angle. And just carry on from there. You grab after anything you want to do. And what I really love about this one, just like the previous character, I'm not mad at the one before, which was number five. Which was, was it? Rampage? No, 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 no. Well, Minato, my bad. Minato. You can um, death right through them when they do combos like that. So number one goes to Nagato, aka Pain as well. The reason why? Is because you can do so much with Almighty Paul or Shinra. No, 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 a bunch of duty. The reason why is because you can do an infinite loop with it, which is crazy, which is actually ridiculous. Because if they sub it, they're still going to get, um, get pulled in. So you have to hold block, basically. You can do infinites with it, the infinite combos into ultimate. Loads of things with this, um, or my pull. It just makes the, it makes it ridiculous. What else you can do with it is when they block, when you block one thing, you can mighty pull straight away. Whatever it is, you can pull. Look, pull anything you want. Anything you want, you can pull. So I'll just show more examples of me doing that while I'm blocking. But that is my top 10 list. I will do honorable mention, but I kind of want to be kind of original as well. So I won't do any honorable mention. But if I were to do one, then it will go to um, Sus EMS Sasuke with his um, son. Because that's really quick and there's really a lot of damage and a lot of stun time too. But the reason it wasn't my top 10 because it just wasn't. This is my opinion only. So, but you can put your opinion down in the comment section below. But this is what I have for you guys. So thanks for watching. This is really Gaming. And for any more top 10, please comment in the comment section below. And I am out of here. Peace.